Man, I, I I don't know about this, y'all. The crew members, they work super hard on cruise ships for their money. But wow, uh, is it demeaning to make them hunt down their money like tip fetching? I just made that word up. Tip fetching. Who who does this? Is this okay? Or should this cruiser be banned? Plus uh, a whole lot more. Cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for your face, for your face on a Tuesday, Tuesday, the 1st of October, 2024. And well, we've got some cruise news popping off. Cruise news story number one, it happened. It finally happened. The Villa V Odyssey loaded up with cruise passengers last night and they left Belfast And then they immediately dropped anchor off the coast of Belfast. That's right. They they didn't go anywhere. Shockingly, there is still more paperwork that has to be filled out for this ship to be completely cleared. And so its first port of call will be Belfast. Belfast. They've got to go back and redock today. The word is the passengers aren't going to be getting off but they're going to be finalizing their paperwork. And at 11 p.m. tonight, Belfast time, they're supposed to leave again. Look, this cruise ship is appropriately named. It's been an odyssey for these people that are trying to get on their residential world cruise. And it does seem like there's just one more teeny tiny hurdle, teeny tiny hurdle that they have to overcome tonight. It, It had to be a great feeling to sail away from the dock and then drop anchor. And look, I'm probably finding this endeavor way too comical but I feel like even Odysseus had an easier time appeasing Poseidon than this this Odyssey getting away from Belfast. It looks like everything's going to be okay. Everybody on board seems to have good spirits, and we continue to have positive thoughts for this big attempt at a residency at sea. Sail away, Odyssey, to your next adventure. Cruise news story number two. Princess with an exciting announcement due to the popularity of their already announced 2026 Solar Eclipse cruise. They've they've announced another one. They're going to have two cruise ships in the path of totality. Whatever, the path of totality for the 2026 Solar Eclipse cruise. The two sailings flesh out like this. Princess has adjusted the Sun Princess itinerary departing from Barcelona on August the 8th, 2026 to position itself off the southern coast of Spain on August the 12th which will give them two minutes and 18 seconds of totality during the eclipse. The adjusted itinerary for the Sun Princess joins the already established itinerary on the Sky Princess, 14-day Mediterranean total eclipse cruise going from August the 8th to August the 22nd, 2026. Once upon a time, I was falling in love, but now I'm only falling apart. All together now. Nothing we can do. A total eclipse of the heart. Uh, eh, eh. Does this sound interesting to you? Are you interested in being on a cruise ship during totality? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I know what the hubbub bub is on this one. Is it the coolest thing ever? Uh, Maybe so. Would you do it? Leave a comment below. Cruise news story number three. The House of Mouse Disney Cruise Line has switched up. Switched up its final payment and cancellation policies. And uh, this thing's uh, convoluted. I I just want to say that. So if you're a Disney cruiser, make sure you know what, what what your policies are. Here we go. Final payment for cruises of five nights or less is now due 90 days before departure. This used to just be 75 days before departure. However, if you're going on a six night cruise or more, This window has been extended to 120 days. So if you're going on a longer cruise, you have to pay that sooner. And those are just for the regular staterooms. When it comes to the suite and the concierge, they want you to pay even sooner. So they've tacked on 45 more days of earliness to the short cruises of five days or less and 56 more days of earliness for those longer cruises of six days or more. And they've also tweaked their whole cancellation policy, when you can cancel and get money back. I'm just scrolling here through their website. Uh, Again, it's a little convoluted. So if you're cruising on Disney and you're concerned about your final payment date or if you need to cancel, I would go over there to the Disney Cruise Line website and figure it out. I guess the big takeaway is that Captain Minnie and Captain Mickey, they, they want to get paid. 
sooner. They want you to pay up before you cruise out. Now we gotta talk about this tip fetching, whether it's gracious or whether it's demeaning. I did a poll, I know what the people think. I'm gonna share that with you, but before I do all that, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Thank you in advance. Well, this picture has been circulating around the internets, and it's not the first time I've seen a picture like this before. Essentially, what a cruise passenger has done is taken the extra tip, the tip money, maybe the only tip they're leaving, and instead of just giving it to the room steward, they've gone through the whole process of spelling out thank you in money on the bed, so when the room steward comes in for turnaround day, they've got to fetch all that money. They got to gather it all up and sort it out and put it in their pocket. And then they can start doing the job that they were meant to do on turnaround day, which is switching the beds out and doing all the cleaning that they have to do. I, I don't like this at all. I, I kind of find it demeaning. I feel like if I was a worker that was expecting a tip, I would, I would be a little annoyed that the person either couldn't leave it for me in a way that's honoring me, like in an envelope or somewhere where I could get it. Or how about this? Just put it in my hand and say thank you the night before, or something like that. I feel like this is a little demeaning and it's almost like, look, I'm the person with the money and now I get to play a game and I get to lay your money out. And to be fair, I would be surprised if that was anybody's intention to make somebody feel bad when they're just trying to give them a tip. I'm sure they think it's just a great thing to do. And maybe it is a great thing to do. That's why I took it to the people. I put out two polls. I put out a YouTube poll. It's a good reason to be subscribed. That way you get notified when these polls pop up. I put out a YouTube poll. I also put out a Facebook poll. And let me give you the results. Results. Okay, here's the YouTube poll. I ask, is spelling out thank you in cash an appropriate way to tip a room steward or is it inappropriate slash demeaning out of the 3,700 people that voted? 54% said, hey, it's appropriate. And 46% of the people said it is demeaning. So it's pretty close, almost 50-50. Over on Facebook, we had close to 2,000 respondents, 37% of which said it is appropriate and 63% of which said, no, it's not appropriate, it's demeaning, it is tacky. Maybe I'm old school, I think I would just feel like it's disrespectful if you're playing games with my money. I heard another story where somebody would hide the tip for the steward so they would have to find the tip somewhere in the cabin. Uh, just, just give the person the money. I, I do have a solution though, I, I say we just ban this cruiser for doing this, ban them. Ben. No, just food for thought. Everybody calm down. It was just a conversation. I'd love to hear what you think. Also, we got live shows tonight. I say we, it's just going to be me. The Jenny B is not feeling good today, a little bit under the weather. So it's going to be me tonight, 8 p.m. We got the Patreon show. Come check that out. Five bucks a month. You get a little smaller, extra uh, Patreon show. Then we got the big show tonight, 9 p.m. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about yet. I'm open to suggestions. Thanks so much for checking out today's episode. Smack that like button on the way out. It's Tony Philadelphia. Look, until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Crew.